invocation. I request all of you to stand up. Tamil Thai Walthu. Niran Kadaludutta Nilamadam Thai Kedilurugum Siraarum Madanam Enna Thigal Paradar Kandamidil Thikkanamum Adil Sirandha Dravidanal Thirunadum Takka Siru Thirai Nudalum Tharitanarum Thilagamumi Atilag Vasanai Pool Anai Thulagum Inba Mura Yetthisayum Ugal Manakka Irundha Pheerum Thamidanangge Thamidanangge Un Seerilamai Thiram Viyandhu Sayam Parandhu Vaartu Dume Vaartu Dume has been called to distribute the degrees in various subjects of the college upon the candidates who in the examinations recently held for the purpose have been certified to be worthy of the same. I invite the principal of the college to deliver the welcome address and, and report of the activities of the college. Esteemed Chief Guest, Dr. D. Vishwanathan, former Vice Chancellor, Anna University, Chennai. Our Honorable Chairman, Dr. VPM Sankar, sir. Our gracious correspondent, Madam Thirumadi Palani Silvi Sankar. Our distinguished Vice Chairman, Mr. Thanga Prabhu, and Mrs. Durga Menlokshini, and our trust family members. Enterprising principals of our sister concerns, heads of various departments, respected parents, and invitees and my dear students it's my pleasure and honor to welcome you all in this great day vpmm engineering college for women was started in the year 2002 with a modest of total 25 students and 10 staff members our chairman started this college with the whole purpose of providing quality education to the rural women in and around virudhunagar district our college mission is women's education and our college vision is women's empowerment. In the southern part of Tamil Nadu, VPMM gives an excellent quality education with state-of-art infrastructure facilities and a good security for women candidates. The overall pass percentage of our college is 77.7 .7 in the November-December 2017 examination. I am proud to say we are standing at 51 position among 623 engineering colleges in Tamil Nadu. The following students produced Anna University rank among 623 engineering colleges in Tamil Nadu this academic year. Ms. Lakshmi Devi, Ms. Meena, Ms. Kaushalya, Ms. Sankareshwari, Ms. Satya and Ms. Ramani. All our ME students produced 100% result in November-December examination. More than 70 students secured 8.3 CGPA and above. More than 390 students secured above 7.5 CGPA in November-December university examination. Really, it's a great achievement. Congrats, my dear students. And I advise all the students, it's not enough. We have to go a lot. We have conducted two placement training programs for all the final year students. Anna University conducted a centralized campus drive in the month of February. Ms. Maladi final IT placed in Infosys. Ms. Jayalakshmi placed in Infosys and Ms. Sri Devi placed in CTS. Meha Job Mela held, in, held on March 5th, 2017 in our campus. More than 14 embassies participated. Nearly 397 placement orders given Companies like TCS, Wipro, HCL, Tech Mahindra, Elgate, IDBA Federal, AGS, Magus, and Mindtree. This semester, we have conducted three on-campus drives and more than 120 students placed in many reputed companies. Under the guidance of our dynamic chairman, 
blessings of our trust members and active cooperation of our staff members, we hope to achieve more. My dear students and parents, today is a wonderful day in the history of VPMM. We are having such a wonderful dynamic person in our campus today. My dear graduate engineers, you are also so blessed to have him on this stage and you are going to receive your degree certificates from him. He is none other than Dr. D. Vishwanathan, former Vice Chancellor, Anna University, Chennai. Hearty welcome, sir. Professor D. Vishwanathan did his bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering at Annamalai University, master's degree in production engineering at the College of Engineering, Gindi, University of Madras. He obtained his PhD from IIT Madras in the field of metal forming. During his PhD program, he worked on missile project which was sponsored by His Excellency Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam and then director of DRDL in 1984. The project was successfully completed under the guidance of Professor Bhatmanabhan, former director of IIT Kanpur and these technologies name technology of superplasticity formed hemispraces of titanium alloy for potential applications in the formations of air bottles for flight vehicle applications. Dr. Vishwanathan has closely associated for his research and development with DRDO, HAL, Atomic Research Centers, ISRO, RRL, DMRL and many leading industries. He has teaching and research experience of spanning over 32 years in Anna University. Starting from the modest career as a lecturer in mechanical engineering, he rose to the highest position of Vice Chancellor of Anna University. Dr. Vishwanathan was appointed as the seventh Vice Chancellor of Anna University Chennai by the Chancellor and Governor of Tamil Nadu on 24-6-2005 for a period of three years. All engineering colleges of Tamil Nadu state were affiliated with Anna University. As a Vice Chancellor, Dr. D. Vishwanathan started the following undergraduate and postgraduate program in engineering and technology discipline. B.E. Material Science and Engineering, B.E. Agriculture and Irrigation Engineering, B.E. Biomedical Engineering, B.Tech Apparel Technology, M.E. Manufacturing System Management, M.E. Biomedical Engineering, M.E. Integrated Water Resource Management, M.Tech Coastal Management, M.Tech Nano Science and Technology, and M.Tech Food Technology. Professor Vishwanathan took keen interest in promoting research activities on par with international universities. He signed memorandum of understanding with 50 international universities across the global, namely USA, UK, France, Germany, Netherlands, Norway, Italy, Sweden, Russia, China, Australia, Japan, Singapore, Korea, Hong Kong, New Zealand, etc. for research collaboration and student faculty exchange program. He also signed MOU with leading 25 multinational companies like Microsoft, USA, IBM, British Broadcasting Corporation, Flextronics, Ultra International Limited, Hong Kong, and Singapore, many other industries. Dr. Vishwanathan started new advanced research centers like Center for Technology Development and Transfer, Center for Distance Education, Center for Nano Science and Technology, Information and Community Park, Communication Park in collaboration with CDAC, Center for Climate Change and Adaptation Research, Center for Intellectual Property Rights, Center for International Affairs, Center for Catalytic and Petroleum Technology, etc. Anna University has established Tamil Nadu's first interactive satellite terminal under KU band of EduSat for the purpose of online teaching and learning by all engineering colleges in Tamil Nadu. Anusat was developed by Anna University and successfully launched by ISRO. During the tenure, Anna University has received number one rank among the universities in the country. Anna University produced highest number of international publications and PhDs compared to any other technical in institutions in the country. Anna University received more than 100 crores as research grant for national and international agencies. Anna University is the first university in the country certified as tobacco-free campus. Dress code and prohibition of mobile phone was implemented in all engineering colleges in Tamil Nadu. And Dr. Vishwanathan received the most distinguished award, namely 
officer of the order of academic palms confirmed by the prime minister of french republic for the contribution in the field of education internationally this honor is for the contributions to the university education intellectual development created international research collaborations and exchange programs he has visited more than 100 international universities including 20 universities in france and signed a mou with 50 international universities he interacted with french university professors and scientists and signed a mou with them this is the highest civil distinction award of france he received the most prestigious international so socrates award from the european business assembly uk at the famous oxford hall and this award was conferred on him for his outstanding achievement in excellence in technical education and research remarkable reputation and successful professional achievements he is the first indian to receive this award he was awarded as a colonial commandant of ncc by the ministry of defense government of india he has celebrated member of professional bodies such as fellow of institution of engineers india indian institute of metals indian society for technical education indian in institute of plant engineers fellow of institute of non destructive testing etc he is an erudite and renowned academic scholar a high profile scientific researcher and able administrator a pragmatic policy maker a great visionary and socially conscious innovator i welcome dr vishwanathan and all the dignitaries present on the dais i welcome once again and thank everyone presenting here thank you I invite the chief guest, Dr. Vishwanathan, to address the candidates. Good morning to all of you. Respected Chairman, Dr. VPM Shankar, Thirumadhi Palani Selvi Shankar, Respected Correspondent, Thiru VPMS Tanga Prabhu, Vice Chairman of these institutions, Dr. R. Rajshekar, Principal, Distinguished Dignitaries on the Dais, Distinguished Guests, Parents, Dear Graduates, Ladies and gentlemen, I am genuinely delighted and honored to be present on this occasion when another group of young, a group of bright and enthusiastic young minds prepares to leave the portals of this college and embark on productive careers and the opportunity to address them. Looking at the young graduates assembled here, I am filled with a renewed hope about our future. The youth of India have played a defining role in our history. It is the youth of this country who helped to create what we so proudly call today the pool of scientific and technological manpower. This is India's competitive strength in the era of globalization. We need to sustain the creative energy of our youth and provide them the requisite environment and infrastructure for their talent and genius to blossom. I believe our system of education and the educational institutions have to play an important role in this regard. The real essence of education is activity of thought, creativeness of mind, and receptiveness of beauty and human feelings. Our institutions must promote such an education. 
we should have educational centers of excellence which are the state of the art and second to none in the world also we ought to ensure the talent and genius do not die stunted in holes due to course of poverty the system must, must inspire and also offer pool proof assurance that anyone with the merit aspiring to go up will surely be able to do so and that his economic backwardness would not prove to be any handicap or come in the way of fulfillment of her ambition and aspirations institutional education is important but much more important is the education it is grounded on the sublime values of human life such as compassion tolerance honesty and humanism as gandhi ji said real education consists in drawing the best out of yourselves what better book can there be than the book of humanity our education must also aim at as swami vivekananda said man making and character building only the people with good character can build india of tomorrow strong resilient and confident we need men and women of character who will swear by human values to ensure that longer longer larger concerns of the society are addressed with deep understanding of values of our heritage and culture india is proud of its old civilization and rich culture the pluralistic and multi ethnic nature of society is indeed our great asset various diversities provide unique richness and varied flavors the diverse social religious groups go exist in harmony interweaving and converging into secular ethos and propagating universal brotherhood it is this pious thought which a poet echoed when he wrote if we whole world become one house if racial distinctions vanish if all limitless bonds of love blossom joys all religion will then disappear wisdom only will shine with brightness the so called heavenly comforts alight on the earth this is the poet view which we have to fulfill it it is this ethos of secular idea in india that we have to imbibe and propagate we need a value based national character which is places such attributes as compassion care fellow feeling cooperation and other human values in the driver's seat my dear young graduates you are at the threshold of a new chapter in your life you would not only be charting out your own future 